University of South Florida researchers have discovered a natural alternative to chemical dispersants used during the 2010 Deepwater Horizon disaster. Well, we noticed that it will settle um, material really fast, faster. Dr. Norma Alcantor, an associate professor of chemical engineering at USF, has proven her theory that the mucilage, or inside of a prickly pear cactus pad, can remove heavy metals from water. Every time I try this material, it always surprised me. <laughs> it's like uh, we always find that it's very flexible, that it's very uh, adaptable to many uses. Now, Alcantor and her research team have been working for two years with the Gulf Research Initiative, studying applications for the mucilage, and have discovered that the powdered form of the cactus helps break up and disperse oil and water. The prickly pear cactus grows in the wild and looks similar to this one. The mucilage from the pads or leaves can be processed into powdered form and used as a water purifier or a natural oil dispersant. The mucilage will actually trap these particles and make them to separate. You know, it's, it's not only faster, but it's also more efficient. It coagulates all the sediments, makes them heavier, and then through gravity, they will separate faster. This is the bed. Um, it's like the leaves from the, the, the plant. And uh, we kind of do a simple process, like he, as we could do in a kitchen. The method of extracting the mucilage from the prickly pear pad requires a number of steps including removing the small spines, washing, dicing into cubes, and cooking. The substance is then blended, dried, and ground into a powdered form. After the mucilage powder is added to test tubes of water and crude oil and shaken, simulating wave action, the mucilage affects the surface tension of the oil, allowing some particles to sink and the rest to remain suspended. I think the microorganisms will break them down into simple sugars that any, any other organism will be able to digest. But since it has been digested in the Mexican diet since, you know, the Aztec time, then it, it, it you know, I'm, I'm very confident that there will, not be, there will be no toxic effects um, in the long run. For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.